Ich grüße Sie, at YD. You can call me George. What do you call Deutschland? There are many names for Germany. Of course, Deutschland and Germany. And we will have a closer look where does it come from. While Deutschland itself only exists for about 200 years, one of the oldest names for this area is Germania. This is a Roman word for this area. All territory north and east of the Alps until the Don, it was called Germania in Roman language in Latin or Germanoi as the Greeks said. And this area was between the Scythian that were east of that area and the Celts that were west and southwest of the area. This was very important because the Romans said they have conquered all Celtic lands. So the other lands they did not conquer has to be another land, probably Germania. And Julius Caesar named it in his book of the Gallic War, it was Germania Magna. But the name German, Germane, German, is not a Latin word. And it's probably a Celtic word. In Old Irish you will find a word Gare. Well, I don't know if it sounds correct. It's G-A-I-R and it's a word for shout or shouting. So it may be because of Germans in war would shout or the German women would shout, but it also could be related to just the language if you do not understand somebody else, he may shout at you that you will better understand what he said. And as Celtic language and Germanic language are very different, probably they wouldn't have understood each other. So if they call the neighbors like Ger, man of Ger, Ger man, that would be an origin. Another issue is that the javelin is called Gär in German languages. So it, it's another idea for this. Probably it was a Celtic word. If we stick to the language, we will go to the Slavic people. The Slavic tribes lived east of the German tribes. And their word is, for example, Niemci or Niemaczki or something like this. And the origin for this would be the same as Ger in the Celtic language as this means foreigner, those who cannot speak the language. So even the Slavic, when they met the Germanic tribes, they couldn't understand each other, so for the Slavic, the Germanic tribes were foreigners. So now we have the south and the east, and let's go to the west. In the west there were the Celts, later on the Franconian Empire started there. And as we see with the different tribes, one tribe that is located in the part, let's say, east of France today, that were the Alemanni. And so the neighbors spoke another language because they spoke a Germanic language. They were the Alemanni. So later the people in the Franconian Empire and later France, they took over this name for all of those who were east of them. All the Germanic tribes for them were 
Alemannii, and this is now Allemand, or even Alemannia, or Almania in other parts, in the Arabic language, in uh, Turkish and so on. And this is very interesting because the word came from the area of France to the Iberian Peninsula and when there was an invasion of Muslims from North Africa, later called the Moro people or the Moors, they got into contact with the local uh, people and they took over this name for, let's say the Germans, that they were Alemanni, Alemannia. So Alemannia is the name for Germany in that area. Let's go a bit north and east to Finland and Estonia. They call Germany Saxa. Most likely, according to the group of tribes, of Germanic tribes called Saxons, but these tribes are called Saxons according to their main weapon. There was a very famous weapon, the Sax, and all these smaller tribes were called as a group Saxons according to this. And still there are some names for knives and scissors in the Scandinavian countries related to this Sax. So we don't know really why they call us Saxa. Uh, because of the Saxons or because of the Sax. Also Anglo-Saxony is named after the German tribe of the Anglo and of the Saxons. So let's have a look at Scandinavia. There it is called Tuskland and this is very close to Deutschland, as both areas have the same origin of language, as both are the Germanic languages that are spoken in Germany, Denmark and so on. So the basic is a Germanic language, even to English it's a Germanic language. There was a world Twisk or Twisk or Twisk and this meant originally one of the people. So one who was Dwisk was part of the tribe. Later it became the issue to speak that language and this language in Germany was Deutsch. So Deutsch land means the land of those who speak German. And similar it is the word in Danish, Swedish and so on, it is Tuskland. Do you have another word for Germany? Put it down in the comments. Did you know the origin of your word? Or did you learn something? Put it down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.